Even though Halo Infinite's reveal was campaign focused, we still got some information about the multiplayer. We have split screen confirmation, changes to the sandbox, flighting updates, as well as some weapons dealing a little more damage when you uh, give them a little stab. So in this video, I'm going to give you everything you need to know about Halo Infinite's multiplayer. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. Plus if you want to stay up to date with all the news and information going on with Halo Infinite, make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourselves up to date. So let's get right into the content here. So yes, we knew that there was not going to be any multiplayer information or reveal at all when it came to this uh, July event that we had for the Xbox and can be campaign focused but we still got some new information for multiplayer and i wanted to kind of share that as well as do a bit of a recap of what we already know so we can give you everything you need to know when it comes to halo infinite's multiplayer so i'm gonna start off with the newest information that is the split screening and how it's going to turn out for halo infinite there has been some recent confusion on what kind of split screen halo infinite will have as we do know that it was confirmed by bonnie ross years ago that halo infinite will have split screen and all halos moving forward will because it's kind of one of those things that really make halo halo and uh, we're glad to see that happen you know way back in december of 2018 we actually had a confirmation of this there was a really cool moment uh when Halo Infinite was up and running and we had four people on the team playing on one TV, correct? Confirmed. We have split screen working. Split screen. Yeah, that's 343 themselves with Chris Lee, who's the head of Halo Infinite's development, saying that they had four players split screen running on console, which is pretty interesting there. Though, that has seemed to change with the recent announcement of Halo Infinite. Uh, Jerry Hook, who's a, one of the design leads at 343, say, said this on Twitter saying, Hey everyone, I saw some reports of campaign supporting four player split screen for campaign and just want to correct. Halo Infinite will be supporting two player split screen and four player online co-op for campaign. Sorry about the confusion. So it seems like throughout the development of Halo Infinite they were had some design choices that they wanted to make and it seems like they had a cut off a couple uh, split screeners there which honestly I'm okay with I've never really used split screen much anymore but I understand like in a household with like friends and family you probably want to split screen a little bit and I don't know about you guys but I've never really had that good of an experience doing four player split screen you know obviously some people might not have the opportunity so it is sad to see that go but at least it's still in the game in some capacity now there was also some rumors going around recently with obviously with the news being fresh and new that uh, a lot of people were kind of maybe jumping to conclusions or doing things like that uh brad sams who's actually a very reputable person i actually subscribe to him on youtube because he has a lot of good microsoft information he's kind of has some insider connections provides some leaks and stuff like that in fact even uh just days before e3 of 2018 he leaked out saying that the next halo game is going to be announced and it's gonna be called halo infinity well close halo infinite so again a little credit on that one uh he actually recently said that he had some sources at microsoft stating that there will be no multiplayer on the release of halo infinite uh one source is saying that multiplayer is not going to be shipping with single player this fall Take that for, uh, you know, put that in your back pocket. And we may not be see, seeing multiplayer yet. Okay. And of course, a lot of people are like, what did you just say? You're just like a core pillar of the complete franchise. It's just not going to be there on release. Well, Sketch had to step in and say this. Nothing to see here, folks. This is not true, which is a huge relief. Uh, when I first started hearing those rumors going around, I'm like, are you kidding me? You're going to launch the game without multiplayer? I don't care if the game has like two maps. You're launching the game with multiplayer, right? Because, <laughs> oh God, that would just be one hell of a mess if 343 three pulled off something like that. Glad to say they're not, that's for sure. Also watching the campaign reveal, we do recognize that there is the grapple shot and then there is the drop wall that was showcased. Uh, bringing back equipment from Halo 3, which some people are excited about. I'm kind of iffy on. I didn't really enjoy equipment too much in classic Halo 3, but we'll see how it plays out in Halo Infinite. Uh, a really important thing that they made a distinguishing uh, point on saying that yes, these new additions to the sandbox will also carry over to multiplayer. However, they will function a bit differently as equipment items that can be picked up on the map. We will look forward to talking about this on the multiplayer details soon. Thank 
god, because that was one thing I, when I watched these abilities, especially with the grapple shot, going, wow, is this, this is going to be in multiplayer? Because the grapple shot in the campaign reveal seems to be kind of a recharge ability, which kind of made me worry that it'd be something that you bring over the multiplayer. Luckily, it's not. It's a pickup item, which definitely helps me uh, relieve some stress when it comes to that stuff. And I think it'd be a really great addition to the sandbox as well. Imagine a map like Construct, how hard it is to get up to that top ring area if it's under control. If you use a grapple shot, just bring yourself right up there. You have map control, which is kind of interesting, but you have to fight for it. You have to earn it, which is exactly what we've been needing in Halo's multiplayer for a long time. Now, I did touch on this in a previous video, but I do want to just kind of cover it because we're talking about everything involving multiplayer. And one thing a lot of people are looking forward to when it comes to the multiplayer are the flights. And it seems like the flighting process might not happen. Say to here saying, with Halo Infinite, we are committed to building the game in partnership with our community, but given the unprecedented challenges of this year, we're not quite where we expected to be in terms of broader public flighting. And we will share and update when we can, but this process doesn't stop with launch. In fact, in many ways, feedback and community flighting will be even more important after launch as we partner together to continually evolve and update the game into the future. Obviously, this is the first confirmed information that we've had that the pandemic itself has affected the development of Halo Infinite. That's understandable. I think it's hit everybody in different ways all across the world, really. So it's understandable that something like this would happen. Now, does this mean that they're behind or in any way when it comes to development? Maybe not, but it could also mean that just they don't have the time to kind of put that in or if it's just harder to kind of communicate that stuff and they don't have the uh, organization of the infrastructure of their company to be able to pull something off like this because I was wondering how the hell you're going to pull out a flighting process with such a highly anticipated game. It would have to be a completely different process than it was done for the MCC and I'm guessing with everyone working from home and I just don't think that's going to be working out. Now they do mention about how they do look to possibly bring some broader public flighting but they have more details on it when they get around to it which makes me think they'll probably do a traditional like beta demo kind of thing maybe like a month before the release of the game just to get some hype get people a chance to play it and get some initial feedback just to kind of see how they can change the game around a little bit i mean obviously it's 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 halo i mean we've been playing this game for 19 years now so i think we can get a good sense of how the game's going to play from just watching it so it is very important for the public to get a chance to start get their hands on it, play around, see how it feels and what works and what doesn't. Also at the top of the video we mentioned about how some bladed weapons can actually give you a little bit of a boost. Well basically you know the Ravager has some blades underneath it as a typical kind of art style when it comes to brute style weapons and it was mentioned here in the IGN article saying Banished bladed weapons do have a slight boost in melee lethality. They take the same number of hits as other weapons to kill a full shielded Spartan, but you can one-shot a Spartan that has 50% or less shields. Very interesting kind of addition right there. Now, uh, obviously, the big thing when it comes to show that kind of difference in melee damage, it's important to show that the player has that ability to do that. And obviously, the Ravager is a very visually appealing weapon that has some cool f effects to it. So it's pretty obvious you can tell when someone's holding a Ravager, you might want to keep your distance. Now, obviously, one part we have to talk about is the customization when it comes to Halo Infinite. And uh, as we have some previously confirmed information from Chris Lee and the team at 343. So I would say that those fans are going to be really uh, excited when they get to learn more about our uh, Halo Infinite customization. I, I, I agree um, that Reach did a really great job there. So we will be receiving at least Reach level customization. Is it going to be Reach customization, like the exact same, or even more detailed? I'm assuming more detailed, actually, uh, but mainly because... This might sound bad, but I think it's gonna be tied to microtransactions in some way. As we do know, microtransactions are confirmed for Halo Infinite, though there will be no loot boxes. So most likely, I'm, I'm assuming that they'll probably be doing some form of a season pass. And generally, when it comes to shooters and AAA games, that it's been generally received well to monetize customization, but not monetize the gameplay. We're looking at you, Battlefront 2. Though customization has always been a very important part of Halo's experience, and so, Taking away what we used to have free, 
to monetize it would be kind of tricky. I'm assuming we'll have a nice variation between uh, content you can grind for or content you can probably pay for directly or do the season pass. There's probably some way to go about doing the whole thing where it can please both people without being a little too on the greedy side of things. And lastly, to touch on, in case you guys are still playing Halo 5, it's still worth the grind because if you reach 152 Spartan rank in the game, you will get some form of recognition within Halo Infinite. If you make Spartan rank 152 in Halo 5, we will do something for you in Infinite. Okay. Now we have no confirmed information on exactly what that is. Maybe it's an armor set, maybe it's an emblem, maybe it's some kind of coloring you can wear for your Spartan. We don't know, but we do know that you will get some form of recognition. So that's everything we know about Halo Infinite's multiplayer. If you like these kind of informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. So let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you're looking forward to when it comes to Halo Infinite's multiplayer. What are you concerned about? What are you excited about? Let me know. If you're new to the channel or missing any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a list of all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.